Guru. Is that how you say it? Guru? How you guys doing? <laughs> Woo! Having a good time? Woo! That's good. Very good news. So why do people say it's easy as pie? I don't get it. I've made pie. That shit's hard. <laughs> you guys seen the, uh, the movie, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? They got a sequel coming out. It's called The Girl Who Regretted Getting the Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> she got fucked up the first time. People uh, mistake me for being a Jewish guy all the time. You know, I don't really understand it. Like, especially when I wear my fedora hat. I was like, you know what, it just makes your nose look bigger. So uh, now I'm just gonna start wearing my fedora on my crotch. <laughs> it's an, an optical illusion. Every time that I see a young kid, you know, like a little boy, and we all do this, every time we all see like a little kid, you know, it's like, oh, it makes us smile, you know, it's all dancing and singing along and making us smile, never to stop and think for a minute that one day he's going to be a murderer. <laughs> Even Jeffrey Dahmer was a cute baby. So ever since I went to anger management, I stopped typing in all caps. It would be convenient to get hit by an ambulance. Dude, it's cool. Just throw me in the back. You know where you're going. You guys remember where in the world is Carmen San Diego? How come no one ever thought to look for that bitch in San Diego? Spain? Nope. You're way off. So like 20 years ago, Magic Johnson was... Uh, Diagnosed with HIV, and he's still like healthy, and nothing's wrong with the guy. I think he literally has a Magic Johnson. <laughs> Fuck, man, you should be dead by now. Twice. So my friend started smoking the electronic cigarette, and he said, I did this because the regular cigarette, you know, will give you cancer, and this is supposed to help reduce cancer. Then he smoked one out in the rain and died of electrocution. Should have thought that through. I have no problem uh, quitting smoking, but I can't stop eating cold turkey. I like it right out of the refrigerator. They say Trisket crackers will reduce heart disease. So now I just put my cocaine on it. Fuck cheese. <laughs> So you know what's coming back? Boomerangs. Throw one, see what happens. The other day I had an old Milwaukee's best. If that's their best, I don't want to try their worst. That was the worst beer ever. This is always fun. Next time you go to a barber shop and they say, what would you like done? Just take your pants down and say, a little off the top, please. I like my penis to look distinguished. <laughs> Don't ever jump out of an airplane with parachute pants on, it won't work. <laughs> so how pissed off are midgets with yo-yos? <laughs> it won't come back. So every time I go to Hooters, I always see like a table of all women there. I'm thinking, they can't be here for the food. So maybe they're lesbians, you know. So I show up, and I've actually approached these women. Are you guys lesbians or something? Why are you here? They're like, no, we just like the food. Like, that's bullshit. That'd be like me and a bunch of my straight friends eating at a restaurant called Balls. Just a bunch of dudes walking around in nut huggers. Serving up cheap, shitty hot dogs. We're not gay. I had to, I'm from Gainesville. I had to come through McClinney to get here tonight. They didn't have a Hooters, but they did have a Grits and Tits. <laughs> pretty fucking disgusting. Oftentimes when I do my stand-up, they'll put my name out on the marquee and like five people show up, you know? So now I just do all my shows in Volkswagens. How'd the show go? Man, I sold it out. Three people came. It seemed like a lot, but there was no room to stand. 
I feel successful. The other day I saw a guy with an eye patch. He was drinking beer. He said, dude, you should get fucked up. You'll see normal. Normal people see doubles. <laughs> you guys remember the Headless Horseman? I bet that guy would be real good in the limbo. <laughs> if he had dandruff, he'd just have to use shoulders. <laughs> can, he, can the headless horseman go to a head shop? Hey, I'm looking for some headless shops. I got any headless shops? I don't know how I'm going to smoke with this bong anyway. I got no head. <laughs> The other day I, I sprayed a, a mosquito with mosquito repellent. Now that fucker will never have any friends. <laughs> so I do stand out, but I also, I'm also in a band. We're called Missing Cat. Maybe you've seen our posters. <laughs> I like the Rolling Stones. But God damn it, Mick Jagger, for 30 years you've been saying you can't get no satisfaction. Well, please, somebody give that guy a Snickers bar. <laughs> they satisfy. Says it right on the wrapper. <laughs> I went to a flock of seagulls reunion show the other day. They were rocking till some random guy threw an Alka Seltzer on stage and the bass player exploded. <laughs> Motherfucker. You guys seen Motley Crue lately? These guys are a sad sight, man. Getting old. Tommy Lee comes out on a fucking hover round. <laughs> Nikki Six changed his name to Nikki Sixty. I don't even know what's going on with that guitar player. The motherfucker looks like Gandalf with AIDS. <laughs> I heard him. I heard him singing "Kickstart My Heart," but in the back of an ambulance with an EKG machine hooked up. So what happens, fellas, when you're 70 and you start tripping on acid or whatever the fuck y'all do? <laughs> yeah. So I think Pepto-Bismol is made out of flamingo jizz. <laughs> the hell's in that shit? I hear that the Norwegians are trying to get a, uh, a new Olympic thing pass for the next uh, big Olympics. Sheep shearing, they're trying to make sheep shearing the next big Olympic event. I don't have a joke for that, that's just fucked up, man. <laughs> I think the worst time to be introduced to someone is when you're eating chicken wings. Dude, I shake your hand and it looks like I just fingered E.T. <laughs> nice to meet you. I wonder if horses get together and play sneakers. I'm gonna throw a Reebok pump at that stick and see what the fun is about. Do camels have people toes? I wanna start a Cars cover band. We would be called the Tarps. Our old junior mints, senior mints. I should have ate them earlier. You have to be a member to get into the Moose Lodge. Will they let a moose go to the Moose Lodge? He doesn't have the capability of being a member, but he's a fucking moose. Dogs are very stubborn creatures, they are. The other day I spent two hours interrogating mine, he still won't tell me who the good boy is. <laughs> Animals are funny, man. I wish they had accents, though. That would be great. You know, like a frog from Mexico, like, hops up next to you. Hey, what's up, frog? Hey, Rubito. <laughs> you see, like, a dog from Georgia? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Bork! <laughs> Throw some Copenhagen in my dog bowl. <laughs> like a bear from New York. Eat it,
lady, I don't want to eat you there. Just give me a slice. <laughs> but if you don't get a slice, you do. Yeah. Hey, hey, granny. This shit's stupid. <laughs> Golf and sex have a lot in common, especially for me. I could never get into the hole on the first try. Always takes a few strokes and then I get closer. And I'm always way under par. And if I'm drunk, I probably hit some pedestrians with it. Should have been standing there. Supposed to be intimate. Every time I go to the movie theater, I like to bring my own candy. And it, people always get so nervous about that shit, like there's smuggling drugs into the fucking border. Oh shit, man. That usher saw me. Don't catch these nerds in my pocket. You guys got some interrogators upstairs. I don't want to do hard time for these nerds. I heard about that one guy that got busted with the Twizzlers. He got kicked right out of Star Wars. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Yeah, the movie theater shit is so expensive, man. The Coke, like fucking $9 for a Coke at the theater. I can buy Coke that I snort for cheaper than that. It's way fucking better. <laughs> Other day I saw a guy on a pay phone. I was thinking, he must be having a conversation about where to hide the ransom money. Otherwise, he wouldn't be on a payphone. That's the whole point of a payphone. You guys seen those new uh, V8 energy shots? You guys seen those? Yeah, we've all been there before. Man, I'm tired. Anybody got a fucking tomato? <laughs> Here in Florida, we get these dangerous hurricanes, but they always name them the worst names, like Floyd, Gene, Francis. Man, who's ever been intimidated by anyone named Gene or Francis? They should seriously reconsider a name change. Florida, you might want to leave. Hurricane, torrential hellfire is on its way. Falling in a close second, tropical storm, anal raper. Get the fuck out of here. Whitney Houston died recently, which gives meaning to the term, a whole new meaning to the term. Houston, we have a problem. It's called a crack problem. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to start a website called TooEarly.com and just fuck with everybody that died today. It's a, you know, it's a tough economy, man. It really is. You know, it's really hard to find a job. But no matter how hard it gets, I found a surefire way, foolproof plan to get a job. You guys ready for this? The obituaries. They always tell you where the fucker worked. Show up the next day, hey man, I hear you got an opening. And I know you didn't just fill it because it was an abrupt car wreck. You don't have time to go through HR on that one. They say that because porn sites are so easy easily as accessible these days which was once shunned upon should be now considered a heroic remarkable place to visit <laughs> because it's proven that 70% of rape worldwide has gone down because of porn sites so porn stars are fucking heroes <laughs> next time you see one don't say you're going to hell say thanks man <laughs> If it wasn't for Pornhub.com, your kids would be in danger. Uh, yeah. We should be more concerned about dinosaur ghosts. Yes. Yes. Motherfuckers are scary. The ADA just released this fact. It's an interesting fact. You see, if you floss your teeth every day, it'll add six years to your life. So every time I finish a cigarette, I floss immediately. And then I don't do that joke. <laughs> yeah. They said that, uh, you know, speaking of the economy being all fucked up, 
you know, we're spending a lot of money on our taxes. I think it's a waste of time and a waste of money to make signs to tell deer where to cross the street. <laughs> Those fuckers figure it out on their own. You guys have been a wonderful audience. Have a good night. Thank you very much.